Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Today's video is a really bright, colourful eye look. Now this video was made with a beautiful model, her name's Alina, but this video was made about three or four weeks before the lockdown. And it was something that by the time the lockdown had happened, as you know, I wasn't sure whether to post makeup videos anyway. And the intro that I'd originally done didn't seem to work anymore with the world having changed. So I had another look at it and I just thought I'd refilm a new intro. So here we go. This look was, it was quite requested at the time because I think I was posting a lot of really colourful eye looks, both from editorial shoots and also from all the Dua Lipa video stuff that I'd done. So I've been using lots of blues, greens and oranges and yellows and that sort of thing on the eyes. So this look today is, it's almost like a cloud of colour using blues, greens and also black eyeliner. So um, I hope you like it. So I'm starting by using the NARS Pro Prime eyeshadow base all over the lid. The first colour I'm going to use on the eyes is from the OPV palette and this shade is called Motley. It's a really beautiful pale green with a golden shimmer and I'm just going to start to buff that all across the lid. Next I'm going to use this turquoisey blue called Utopia and mix it with this blue from the Huda palette. I'm just starting at the outer corner, just building there to create more shape and definition. Would you ever wear these kind of really bright colours yourself? I've never worn anything like this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, it's a bit of a look. I think they are a little bit scary when you first see these colours. You know, they are kind of a bit shocking, but obviously I'm doing quite a statementy look here, but you could use them in a much more subtle way, like just as along the lash line if you wanted to. So now I'm going to use this loose pigment by Barry M. This is really quite an intense mint green. I'm going to start by mainly applying it at the inner corner, into the inner corner and a little bit underneath as well. And I think this is something which will obviously look quite stark, but by the time everything is blended in and we've got lashes on and everything, you'll see that it will really just add to that cloud of colour effect. So continuing with our beautiful fluffy cloud eye, I'm just bringing the blue now and the sea green all along the lower lash line, just really close to the lashes, keeping it nice and fluffy. So before I really get into finishing the blending of the eyeshadow, I'm going to apply a light turquoise pencil all along the lower lash line there. And that again, it just brings this really nice light feeling to the eyes and this colour is amazing against dark brown eyes as well. So on to lashes and firstly I'm just working through those lower lashes with a black volumizing mascara. And before going on to the upper lashes I'm going to clean up anything that's dropped down onto the skin, particularly when you use these sorts of dazzle dusts and loose powders, you find that quite a lot does drop down. So it's better just to get your eyes on and then clean up. For base, I'm just going to start with a really light layer of foundation. This is Makeup Forever HD. Buffing it really, really well into the skin so I thin it out completely. I'm doing two thin layers of concealer, just using a fluffy brush. Why two layers? Well, sometimes I like to do a thin layer and then let it kind of settle in and then see if you need a second layer. So I'm just applying now a second layer and it's also a really nice way of figuring out how much you actually need if you go step by step. Pinpoint concealing is next and obviously I love doing this. I'm really taking my time, enjoying it. I love it when I just work into the area, very detailed, really blending out and just looking, step back and looking where else I'd like to um, apply concealer. So anything that we want to conceal is concealed without looking heavy or cakey. I just want that beautiful, flawless base, but looking natural as well. I'm not going crazy with the highlights here. I'm just adding touch onto the top of the cheekbones and just really blending that in. Onto powder, I'm actually applying the powder with a velour puff and I'm doing that because I have done quite a lot of concealing so I'm just setting my concealer anywhere I've done pinpoint or particularly around the center of the face 
And then I'm going to use a brush just to take off a little bit and make sure that's very well blended. Moving back onto eyes, I'm using a gel liner. This is a black gel liner. Just really, really working into the lash line there. So it's almost doing the upper waterline as well at the same time. So right in between those lashes, back and forward, just making sure that the lash roots are really coated well before I start to create the shape of the liner. And then just finishing off, taking it into the inner corner. So I'm just going in with a liquid black liner. This is uh, Grandiose with a really, really fine point. And this is just so I can get that crispness that I want, particularly at that outer edge. So onto mascara, Alina's got really, really long lashes, but they're very straight. So I'm gonna curl first and then put a, quite a light layer of mascara on. I don't wanna go in with anything too heavy because anything too heavy might just weigh them down and we're gonna lose a lot of the curl. For lashes, I'm using the Dura Lash Naturals. These are the not free flares, the little bunches of lashes. I'm going to use the mediums at the outer corner and the short ones as we come in from about the center towards the inner corner. So brows. So what I'm going to do here is just brush them down and start to really fill in those gaps. Um, Alina's got beautiful brows. So I'm just filling in wherever I need it. And this is like a process of brushing down, brushing up, stepping back, really taking the time again to look at um, where it's going to be flattering and also where you just need to balance the brows. So I brush them down and up again quite a lot and just kind of feel my way. To finish the eyebrows, I'm just brushing through with some brow gel to set. Next, I'm applying some bronzer in a slightly sculpty way. So just bringing underneath the cheekbones, up around the temples and just blending as I go. And then next, I'm going to use a blush. This one is by a brand called Dear Dahlia. It's really cute, actually. It's got kind of the blush one side and then a sort of shimmery top coat the other side. Applying the peachy blush just to the apple of the cheekbone softly and blending up and out. Using a lip liner to sculpt Alina's lips, working around those edges just to create a little bit more definition there. For the lips, I think I'm going to try one of these magnetic lip paints. This one is called Wakiki Rose, and I'm going to apply it with a lip brush. So that's the finished look. It's definitely bright. Um, this kind of cloud effect around the eyes using such bright colors obviously really makes a huge statement. Um, but as I said earlier, you can apply it just along the lash line or you could just use one shade just as a wash over the lid if you weren't feeling as adventurous. I do think these bright pastel shades are really beautiful for summer.